Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while. On vacation, guys. So I'm uh, I think I was MIA for about a week or so. But today, we are going to do OWAP's Top 10 2021. Let's see, we're still on Wet Fed Muntel's Learning Path. And I think the last videos I did was completion of Burp Sweep, but I think there's an update for it. So it's probably similar. And this is the one I reset. Let's get right into it. I think I'm gonna split this two part video. Yeah, there's like 23 tasks. Okay. All right, task one introduction just talks about the OWAPs, basically different different types of vulnerabilities such as injection and secure design. So we're gonna do one through five today. Questions below, read the above. As you know, guys, these videos, I'm just gonna show you how to answer these uh, task questions, but I always recommend to read through all the tasks so you can get full understanding what is it all about? So task two, accessing machine, already loaded. So as you can see, yeah, answer questions below, connect to our network or deploy the attack box. So I usually like to load the attack box. So task three, broken access control. So it talks about the first one, the Barrett vulnerability, always hard to say that and the question is just to really understand what broken access control is and so simply broken access control allows attackers to bypass authorization allowing them to view sensitive data or perform tasks are supposed to click that task four broken access control id o r challenge insecure direct object reference so you can follow this along it says, ask your questions below. Read and understand how IDOR works. Complete. Deploy the machine and go to this. So I like to just copy and paste the clipboard. Log in with the username Newt and the password test1234. Okay. Try again. All right, so Newt, test one, two, three, four. Okay, save. Look at, at other users' notes. What is the flag? Hint. See, the URL contains question mark note under slash ID equal one. I, want, I wonder what happens if you change the parameter value question mark, you might be able to access another user's notes. So I believe I usually start with zero. There you go, guys. That's the answer, but see, let's see two. There's nothing. Oops. Three. See, as you keep changing it, it's different. Four. And I'm just gonna go five just for the heck of it. And yeah, this is a little so. All right, that's the flag. So copy, paste. All right, task five, number two, cryptographic failures. So it talks about cryptographic failure refers to any vulnerability arises from the misuse or lack of use of cryptographic algorithms for protecting sensitive information. Answer questions below, read the introduction to crypto cryptographic failures and deploy the machine. So that's that. Task six, 
cryptographic failure supporting material one. Okay. Let's follow along. Let's see. Do I have the file DB? Let me check where's the file DB. Rooms. Tasks. Well, I don't have the file DB, so let's. Desktop files. I guess not. Okay, we'll just follow along. Is this talks about SQLite database? And the question is we understand the supporting material on SQLite databases. Just click that. I mean Let's see, let's go back here and see if I can try it. For example, D. Nope, yeah, there's nothing. SQ, example, three, example, D. This is just made up, I guess. Tables. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, I could just follow along, but I'm not going to get the same results. such table customers yep all right this is different let's go task seven cryptographic failure supporting material two talks about crack station and the question is read answer your questions below read the supporting material about the cracking stations you can just follow this along for example here you could open Let's copy and paste. And the result is password, same as password. So task eight, cryptographic failures, challenges. Okay. This is now, it's now time to put what you learn into practice for this challenge connect to the web application. So yours might be a little bit different, but it's all the same. Pace and go. Okay, answer questions below. Have a look around the web app. The developer has, has left themselves a note indicating there's a sense of data in the specific directory. What is the name of the mentioned directory? Hint, have a look at the source code on the login page. Login page, so click on the login and then source code. And it says right here, must we remember to do something better with that database than the store in ad sets? So, please, that's correct. Next question, navigate to the directory you found in question one. What file stands out as being likely to contain sensitive data? So, let's talk about assets. Go to the web link. And delete and put assets and oops that's the source code let's try there you go and I believe it's web app DB cool next question using use the supporting material to access the sense of data what is the password hash of the admin user. Okay. Oops. Don't that. Too much. I 
and lighting. Okay, delete that, delete that. Okay, let's exit this. So I think I should example DB right here. Oh no, no, web app. So let's go back to task six and follow along. So we're gonna do, let's see, file web app DB. Okay, so SQ light three. So what app DB? All right, then we click tables. Oh, that's lagging. There you go. So sessions and users. So we're gonna prep more table info we're going to put users command prompt all right then we're going to put select from users okay so we got the thing and it says what is the password hash for admin user so admin user is this one oh no shoot my thing broke Come on. Awesome. All right, and this is crack the hash. What is that man's amends plain text password? Hint read the supporting material. So highlight this one, copy, go crack station. And let's crack. And that's it. QRT UI OP. Let's see. And this is login. Ask that man, what is the flag? Okay, let's go back. Is it okay? Admin, all right, awesome. All right, let's copy clipboard this. I mean, admin, sweet, dude. I can't highlight this. Awesome. All right, let's go. Task nine, injection. Talks about different type of injection. SQL injection, command injection. Ask the questions below. I understood injection and tax. So just read through task nine. Task 10, 3.1 command injection. Okay, get, let's take a code and determine why so it talks about the different pass through. Who am I? All right. To complete the questions below, navigate this web link, exploit the Kausei server. So let's close this off. 
All right. Website's lagging. So you just changed to 82. How say? What strange text is in the website's root directory? So root directory and it talks about the command here. So dollar sign parentheses, right? So dollar sign parentheses. So it's talking about directory. So I'm gonna see what's in this file. So I always use ls. This should be L or LA. So list all this this app. Twenty-four. Okay, it might be gibberish. Same thing. But this is the file, Dr. Pepper text, I believe. This talks about text file, so Okay, and then it talks about how many non-root, non-service, non-diamond users are there. So let's try, I believe it's uname. Oops, uname all or not. Lagging. Process. PS. Yeah. Who am I? So what users? see cat about that okay so I did this I remember cat search for passwords so it talks about root zero zero diamond nothing so diamond non service no login so I'm gonna put zero I just assume zero because there's nobody, no login. So it doesn't indicate. And it says, which user is this app running app? That one's easy. I think it was um, it's an ID. Yeah, Apache. And then what is the user show set as? That one was so I think is this one SB and no login. And then it says what version of Alpine Linux is running? This version can be found in Central Alpine release. It could be Alpine release, or I do remember it was. Or OS release. We use any of those. Yeah, same thing. So 3.16.0. Cool, awesome. Task 11 talks about insecure designs and it wants us to go to 85. So I'm just going to delete this. So yeah, insecure design refers to vulnerabilities which are inherently 
inherent to the application architecture. Okay. Answer questions below. Try to reset Joseph's password. Can you mind the method used by the site to validate if you are indeed Joseph? Okay, so I forgot my password. So username is Joe. Joseph. Oops. So J O S E P H. Okay, there you go. What's the value of the flag in Joseph's account? Hint, is there a security question that can be easily guessed? What's your mother, sister, sons, nephew, neighbors, or friends? Name, that's hard. What's your favorite color? That's eat. Might be easy. What's your first pet current address? So let's try red. Nope. Let's try blue. Let's try green. All right, we got something. Copy and paste, copy that. Man, it is lagging. Let's paste this and Joseph. We logged in docs flag. There you go. Teach him not even cats could save you. So. Okay. Let's go to task 12. Number five security misconfiguration. So secure misconfiguration are distinct from the other 10 top other top 10 vulnerabilities because they can they occur when security could have been appropriately configured but was not okay so navigate to this link all right 86 console all right so it looks like this use the work console to run the following python code to execute list all, all command on the server Okay, let's copy and paste that. Okay, what is the database file name? The one with DB extension in the current directory. That's that, Toto. So modify the code to read the contents of AppPy file, which contains the app source code, what is the value of secret flag variable in the source code? Let's see, hint, the flag looks like DHM. Be sure to write out the surrounding quotes. Okay, so it wants to read. So cat app pi. Let's see, that's work. Oh, that right here. Secret flag. Just a tiny configuration. There you go, guys. Let's see how long this video has been. I can't tell. I feel like it's been a long video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to put this as a two-part video so the next one's gonna be task 13 to 23 the other five oh bops vulnerability vulnerabilities and uh, thanks for watching guys please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video subscribe hit the notification button so i motivates me to crank out these videos and show you guys how my thought process how to answer these questions uh cybersecurity 
IT stuff. Uh, currently, I'm not in the IT industry, but this is something I really like learning, and this helps me and motivates me to uh, keep learning this stuff. And currently, I am CompTIA I certified in A+, CYSA+, Network+, Pandas+, and Security+. Yes, I know. I've been telling you guys that I need to show you guys how I pass these uh, certifications. It's been, yeah, actually it's been a year now. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Till the next video.